When we talk about AI, and there are a lot of discussions about what open source or decentralization mean for because a lot of companies they hold all their stakes when it comes to AI. So, uh, what is the concern here, or what is the the driver behind this specific report? That's a very true swap. Um, I think not only do we see centralization um, in AI and and very few powerful uh, players and innovators sort of dominating the AI space, um, at least at the outset, we have for decades now um, been grappling with the centralization of the web. And the fact of the matter is that very, very few organizations um, control the vast majority of our web applications. If we think about uh, the, the ownership of LinkedIn by Microsoft. Uh, LinkedIn is essentially a social media application. Um, face, or, or Meta um, with, with the Facebook platform, uh, with WhatsApp, uh, now behind threads, um, you know, and Instagram. Uh, that is a huge uh, percentage of, um, of our web user base. And the, that concentration and, and you know, the, the, the big digital conglomerates, Google, and the amount of user data that is concentrated in the hands of a few companies has created algorithmic, uh, I'll call it chaos, uh, really, that we are in such defined echo chambers um, and that there's such a concentration of power uh, by a few. So many um, of us have had very strange experiences where our data has been used to manipulate our, our decision making, um, our purchases, and now it comes down to our, our, our thoughts on things like democratic institutions or uh, the institutions around uh, governance. And the, the centralization of control over these algorithms is really something that that communities are pushing back on i think there's a a, a widespread understanding that user data has um it needs to be uh restored to the owners uh, of that data we need to be the proprietors of our own data and um get our data back uh, so that we can make, uh, so we have greater control over our online identity and um, more truth as it relates to the content that we're that we're seeing. Um, and so that's that that opportunity to build a better internet, to build an internet where users really do control their data, is enabled by open source and the idea of decentralization, moving from uh, single points of control to distributed, decentralized uh, points of, of access and, and opportunity. And we really saw decentralization take hold um, with the emergence of Bitcoin and decentralized computing, where people from all over the world were sustaining a platform and a network, and that led off, led to this to the creation of the Ethereum um, virtual machine, a new kind of decentralized operating system, allowing innovators to create applications on a decentralized network. So, in the context of AI agents uh, being trained on our personal data and more and more of our processes being driven by AI, it's more important today than ever before that um, we have some control over uh, our privacy and the security of our personal data as inevitably we go about training um, AI agents to make our lives more efficient and um, productive.